Welcome to Caro Road, where there are plot lines aplenty here tonight. Norwich unbeaten at home in 19 games. No one has come here and beaten them in almost 11 months. Leeds unbeaten away this season and yet to concede on their travels. The first meeting since Leeds thrashed Norwich in the second leg of their playoff semi-final meeting last season and the return of Daniel Farker, who twice took Norwich to the Premier League. It is quite the night to look forward to. Dispossessed in midfield as Norwich look to come forward here. There's Ben Slimani. Volpo reads it and he just about gets there first. Push forward and here is Nonto. Heavy first touch. It's kept out by Angus Gunn, but obviously had already gone. Humble. I thought he was in too easy there and everyone stopped. Everybody did seem to stop. There seemed to be some hesitation. It's been watchable opening 12 minutes here at Caro Road as the ball's flighted out to the far side by Borja Sainz who continues his run into the penalty area lovely piece of skill here and the door might just open up for Josh Sargent is he taken out he is and Norwich City have got themselves a penalty you know, the fast footwork there of Josh Sargent is just too much to handle Cernak is a dangerous when he comes in his left hand side of the first pass is, it's very 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 poor defending from Rodon there's Yes, he's desperate, he's out of position a little bit, he's had to cover for, for strike and he's dived in. It's just not what you want to be doing, especially so early on. You have to stand your ground and slow yourself down quicker. And Melier has only saved one penalty from 19 that he has faced in English League football. That was from Jesse Lingard over three years ago. Short run up by Sargent and he tucks it away. Melier didn't move too much. Josh Sargent fires Norwich City into the lead. It's a, it's a good penalty, it's not a great penalty. Melier is obviously stood thinking he's going to just dink it down the middle, I suppose. That's the only explanation I can give there. You usually see the, the goalkeeper's ready to dive early. He sits it very, very close to him. It's, it's obviously hit with decent power, but I would say it's a fantastic penalty. mistake from Joe Roden who signed permanently of course for Leeds in the summer but Leeds now looking for a quick response here it's pushed ahead of Nonto but he is able to keep it in play Norwich have to stay switched on here it's still Nonto he's still going here and he goes for goal it comes back off the post inches away from an equaliser well, Norwich stood off Nonto to have plenty of touches and they almost paid the price you see we mentioned it earlier about Bogan getting on the outside it drags it drags Doyle away which opens up the space for Nonto and he can go left foot right foot because that's the ability he's got and it's just a snapshot catches Angus Gunn off guard and thankfully Duffy's just there to to clear it up for him Nonto is going to have a go here it takes the deflection Spun anywhere, but it spins behind for a corner. 30 yards away, in comes the corner. It's in towards the front post. Norwich initially struggling to get it away. Challenge goes in on Ramazani, and now a free kick in a prime position here on the edge of the Norwich City area. Rothwell is straight into the Norwich wall. Nonto's effort, it took a nick on its way through, but it was well watched by Angus Gunn. A straightforward save in the end. Josh Sargent 
Drop of possession for Norwich, and he's got one thought in mind to drive his side towards goal. Slimani, now Borja Sainz. Still Borja Sainz cutting in field, looking for the far corner where you could see what he wanted to do. And you felt that was what he was going to do as soon as he picked up possession. He just couldn't quite wrap his boots around the ball enough. off once again. A lot of patience here for Leeds United. The boys coming as there always is from the supporters here this evening. Now Monto manages to squeeze his way between two. He goes down and he wins the free kick as well. It's a free kick in a very dangerous position. Good work by Monto. Keep an eye on him. He's clipped in Strout contesting. Breaks now to Aronson, it came back off Otto Ramazzani's effort. He's always coming off target. At the same stage, they did last season. Of course, coming into this game tonight, Ryan Pinch is now Fenty White. They resolve the pitch. Norwich looking to double their advantage here. over this Norwich corner, he clips it in and way to the edge of the area, Borja Sainz does he want to do something spectacular and he gives it a go but it's struck one of his own players and now Leeds can look to counter, Nonto, Fisher happy to back off but Leeds have got plenty of players flooding forwards here, Junior Felpo tries to help it onto Matteo Joseph and some good defensive work right there from Nunez to deal with that danger. time towards the back post where Roden was looking to get on the end of it and Fisher twists it forward work by Aronson Tanekic picks up possession for Leeds Brooks comes in Duffy has to deal with it he doesn't do a good job here's Rothwell too close to Angus Gunn Sean Duffy will be relieved sets up so nicely for Joe Rothwell but it was too close to the keeper yeah, he's got himself in a good position but hasn't been able to sort his feet out to get a big enough connection on the ball, almost catches a little bit, I think, off his heel, which allows him to sort of save it quite good. He's all over the world in the championship. As as his corner comes in, could have been two, perhaps should have been as well, but Adam Doyle just unable to get his head on target. Commitment from Daniel Farker's side to get numbers forward. How difficult is that to deal with defensively when a team commits so many players? It's very difficult because what Leeds haven't done is at any point in the second half has threatened in behind, which as a back four is an absolute dream. And you look upon the game and you see, look now, look, yes, they think they're having loads of possession, they're not causing anyone any problems. So as long as they move around, to pose a problem here. Ramazzani strikes it in. And Leeds United a level just before the hour. And now they really do have something to cheer about. Well, they've been threatening the equaliser since the moment they fell behind. And now Leeds United have got the game all square. Wonderful finish from Ramazzani, his second championship goal of the season. to Bogle, he's got four ahead of him and he finds Ramazzani, Terry Joseph, Nonto and Aronson all waiting to see if he can come up with a delivery but he's just held up by Doyle, Ramazzani again, keeps it forwards, comes off, Nonto the strike comes in, Leeds could have made more of that, the strike a little wild, lacking control. to the final minute. Bamford though all of a sudden sensing opportunity and just the slightest of hesitation there. There's an intake of breath around Caro Road but now it's Norwich on the ball with time ticking down. Can they create one last chance? Given away. It's just the last lead to get back into their shape. It stops the ball from moving. 
Awesome. It's a, it's a perfect opportunity there to set it up. You've 15 seconds left. Set it up, load the box, try and get an opportunity in the last 10 seconds. So, yeah, disappointing they haven't chucked that forward. Maybe they can still create something here. Strike a goal, and it was ambitious. A touch of desperation, perhaps. But we've seen former signs come up with magic before. Just couldn't quite do it there. It will finish it. Square here tonight. An entertaining evening as we suspected it would be between Norwich and Leeds. Fair result on reflection. I think two really good teams, two really top championship teams. Almost became a little bit of a chess match at times. Players we identified before the game in the attacking wide areas have already been the people that have caused the issues and have created the goal scoring opportunities. Entertaining evening here. It finishes Norwich City 1, Leeds United 1.